Hi there, welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the most powerful quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm excited to let you know that Smart Quiz Builder now supports category level redirects. What this means is say that you have a scoring quiz and you have created different categories in the back end. You have assigned your questions to the right category in the back end. And now you want to redirect users that take the quiz to the right outcome screen, not just based on their total score, but based on their category level score. You can now do this using Smart Quiz Builder. Now, if you want to send them to the right screen based on the total score, you can still do that, but you now have the option to redirect users based on their category level score. So now I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you how you can set this up. It's really simple, very straightforward. I'll show you step by step how you can set this up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on my site, you can go to membershipsitelab.com slash YouTube. This way you'll be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. All right, so let's get started. So this is the back end of Smart Quiz Builder. Here you can see I have created a scoring quiz and I'm going to show you my settings. So first thing you need to do if you want to create a scoring quiz and you want to assign questions to different categories is to create the categories. So go to settings page and here under advanced quiz settings, click on quiz category and here you can create different categories. So really simple, click on add a new quiz category, give it a name description, and that's it. So here you can see I have created three different categories, English, math, and science. And now I'm going to assign questions in my scoring quiz to the right category. So let me show you how to do this. All right, so this is the manage quizzes page. This is my quiz. I'm gonna click on the edit button to show you my setting. All right, so basic settings, give your quiz a name, description. Here I have selected scoring because this is a scoring quiz. Now display settings, here you can configure different display options for your quiz and show start screen. If you want to display a start screen or a start button before the questions show up, you can enable this and this way users can click a button to start the quiz. Lead generation, if you want to get users to give you their name and email, uh, then you can enable this and users will have to enter their name and email to see the result. But the main thing is this one. Do you want to enable category level calculations? So I have enabled it here and outcome screen display. Do you want to display outcome based on overall score or do you want to display outcome based on category level score? So here I have enabled, I want to display outcome based on category level score. But if you want to just redirect users based on their total score, that's the default option, you can do that. But here I want to show you how to display different outcome screens and how to set up rules to get SQB to redirect to the right outcome screen based on category level score. So I have enabled this one. And that's it, all right? And then correct answer display. If you want to display correct and correct answers on every screen after they answer the question or on just the final screen or don't show the correct and correct answers at all. So even though it's a scoring quiz, if you do not want to display correct and correct answers, then you can turn off correct answer, incorrect answer calculation. This way there are no correct or incorrect answers, but SQB will still calculate the total score and the category level score. And then I'm gonna skip all this here Select a template. SQB comes with several templates here. I have just selected the first template. You can select any one of these templates and all of these templates are fully customizable. So here I have selected this one. All right, so the next screen is the start screen. You can add an image here and uh, when users click on this button, then they will be sent to the first question in your quiz. And if you just want to display a button and not an entire screen like this, you can select this option. So this option is best if you're using a pop-up quiz. And when users click the button, if you want to display your entire quiz in a pop-up, then this option is great. In that case, you can select this button instead of uh, screen. And in the front end, SQB will just show a button. Let me switch it and show you how this looks. So here, I am switching it to just a button. It'll look like this. Everything is fully customizable. There's a button customizer here. And in the display settings, if you have selected pop-up, then what will happen is when users click on this button, the entire quiz will show in a pop-up. All right, so I have switched back to this because I want to display this screen. Now questions. So here you can see I have six questions in this quiz. Question one, I have assigned it to the math category, right? So question one and two, I have assigned it to the math category. Question three and four, I have assigned to English. Questions five and six are assigned to the science category. So I have six questions and I have assigned each question to the right category. That's why you need to first create your categories in the settings page then you can uh, add your questions to the right category. So now if you don't have a correct answer, then you don't have to check this, but be sure to turn off the correct answer here, right? Correct answer display should be set to no if there are no correct or incorrect answers. So in this case, there is a correct answer. This is the correct answer, and I'm giving users two points when they get the correct answer. 
And here, this is the correct answer. You can assign points. And even uh, if you want to assign points to incorrect answers, you can do that too, right? Negative points or positive points, you can assign that here. Here, I'm not assigning points if they don't answer the question correctly. And same thing here, you can see for each question, there is a correct answer. I have assigned the points. Now, their total score is based on how many points they get. But where they land, the final outcome screen, I want to decide that based on some category rules. Lead generation, here you can see you can fully customize this. Users need to enter their name and email, uh, and then they will be sent to the right outcome screen. So this is the outcome screen you can see. I have created four different outcome screens in this example just to show you how this works. The redirect rules you can set up here under advanced rules. Now, answer choice based redirect is the one where uh, based on the selected answer, if you want to send them to a specific outcome screen, you can do this in the answer choice based redirect. But here I want to show you category total based redirect. And both of these you can access from here under advanced rules on your outcome screen. So click on advanced rules and under category total based redirect, you can select your category. For example, math evaluates to a number or a range. For example, here I have selected number. So you need to create all of your outcomes first. And then you can set up rules to say which outcome should be displayed based on category totals, right, or category range. You can say if it evaluates to anywhere from 1 to 100, I want to show them this screen. And if they score a total of 0, I want to show them this screen. So you can set up different rules. It's completely up to you where you send them. But now you have the option of setting up these advanced rules. And you can see I have set up these rules here. If the score is zero, they get to math fail. If they get anywhere from one to five, they get to math pass. So how you set up your rules, it's completely up to you. And on each outcome screen, you can display their total score, which is regardless of categories. This is overall score. So you can see this is the merge tag you can use. And the merge tags are all available here. All of these merge tags you can use on your outcome screen. Your score is how much they scored out of uh, the total scores. So you can display that here. And show category total will allow you to display category level breakdown. So they can see in math, this is what their score was. In English, this is what they scored. If you want to display category level breakdown, you can do this on each outcome screen. So even if you are sending to a specific outcome based on category level total on the outcome screen, you can still display a breakdown and show them how much they scored under each individual category. And show category total, you can use this here in the description. Right here, you can see and category total percent and category total number. So when you use this, it will display category total and overall total. But if you want to just display the category totals and not the overall score, you can use these uh, tags. You can use these merge tags. Now category total percent will allow you to show them category level breakdown, but without the total score. If you do not want to display total score, but just the overall score under each category in percent or in number, you can use these merge tags. So there are several options. You can add all of this to your outcome screen and then decide which one you want to use uh, for your quiz. That's it, all right? And in the final short codes tab, you can copy the short code, publish it on your WordPress site and test out your quiz. And if you want to publish the quiz on a completely different site, you can use the embed code instead of the short code. You can copy this wherever you want to publish it. You still need to have a WordPress site to install Smart Quiz Builder, activate it, create your quiz. But after you create your quiz, where you publish the quiz, that's up to you. You can publish it on your WordPress site. In that case, you can use the short code, publish it on any WordPress page on your site. But if you want to publish it on a non-WordPress site or a completely different site, you can use the embed code. So now let's go ahead and test the front-end user experience. This is how it looks in the front-end. And all I have done in the back end is I have inserted the short code from SQB on a WordPress page. And this is how it looks in the front end. This is the start screen. I'm going to take this quiz and show you how the category based redirect works. I'm going to click on this button. First question is a math question. And I'm going to answer this question correctly. And I have assigned two points in the back end to the correct answer. So I should get two points here. This one I'll answer incorrectly. So I answered one question correctly and the other one was incorrect. So I should get two out of three points in math, all right? And here, English, I'm going to answer both correctly. I had assigned uh, one point each to correct answers, so I should get two points in English out of two. And this one, I'll answer both incorrectly. So in science, I should get zero out of two. So now let's go ahead and see if it works correctly. I'm going to sign up here. And I have added an analyzing screen. That's why it shows that. You can see this is the final result. 
So I got four out of seven because all the correct answers I had assigned one point except the very first one where I had assigned two points. So I got two points for this one. I got one point each for these two correct answers. And I lost three points because I did not answer these three correctly. So I got four out of seven. That's the total score. So you can display this using the merge tags in the backend. So this is a backend. And here you can see the message says you got a total score of, and it's going to be four because I scored four out of a total possible score of seven, right? So this will be replaced in the front end and everything is fully customizable here. And this one is going to show a category level breakdown. All right, so that's why here you can see it says math, 66%, English, 100%, and science, I got 0%. Zero out of two, English, I got two out of two, and math, I got two out of three. So that's how the category calculation works. As far as redirect, you can see here in the back end, under advanced rules, it says if users score zero in math, send them to math failed uh, outcome screen. And if they get anywhere from one to five, send them to math passed screen. So that's what happened here. I got two out of three, so it sent me here to outcome two screen. And uh, you can see here it says category total percent and the merge tags are all here. You can use uh, whichever one works best for you. So here I wanted to just display a category level score in percent. So this is what it looks like in the front end. All right. And we'll add more customization options in the back end uh, to this. So you can add maybe a border and some shadow effect and a background color and all that. We don't have that yet, but the main thing is the calculations and all this works. And we'll add more customization options in an upcoming release. All right. This is how it works. As you can see, it's really easy to create categories, assign questions to different categories, and create different rules in the back end to send users to the right outcome screen based on their category level totals. And what you display on the outcome screen is completely up to you. If you still want to display category level breakdown on each outcome screen, you can still show them how much they scored under each category, but where they get sent after they complete the quiz, that's completely up to you. You can let SQB know if you want to send users to different outcome screens based on their total score, or if you want to send them to different outcome screens based on their category level score. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. This way you'll be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. My name is Feena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.